What's going on guys? So today we're going to be installing the JT Strong Arms on our travel trailer right here behind us. And I'll start now. All right. There we go. All right, well this is pretty simple guys. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt out here and it is, like I said, a 14 millimeter. And then we have our new JT strong arm bolt. I got a washer on the end here. We're gonna go in at that angle and we get a washer on the other end and then the nut. The other side will be exactly the same. So, all right, so let's go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. And the way I'm gonna hold this is I have a crescent wrench and I'm going to tighten it up until it sits on this end of this eye bolt so that I can Tighten it up just like so. I uh, loosen it just a little bit so it can move around a little bit. All right. All right, so with this one in, what we're gonna do now is we need to go and attach this end of the JT strong arm. You always want um, this connection like this to be down because you don't want it to rain and water to go in this direction it'll rust your stuff so you want it installed like this so the inside portion of the bar is going to install on the leg first here all right so as you can see right here i got the small bolt in this eye bolt tightened up and then i've got the jt strong arm on here and i also have the other end connected so that I can put it up here on the frame and measure where I need to drill and I already did. I suggest getting some glasses or safety glasses um, before you do this. Before you do the drilling, uh, you don't want hot uh, metal shavings in your eyeballs. I'm gonna run a bolt from the, from the inside down and bolt it in that way. I think it might be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more secure that way. Washer, sent through, washer and then nut. Make sure this is plenty loose. All right, let me move the camera over and we'll see this functioning. All right, we're gonna put her down and uh, put her up. And then you would set the JT strong arm. Give it a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we're at the front now and this is where I've gotten so far. I took the bolt out, put the new JT strong arm bolt in there and I have it connected. It's all loose. And I've got this eye bolt that I am going to be uh, drilling and tapping so that I can thread uh, this up in there along with this uh, support, which will go on there like this. And then I'll drill on top another one to go in that side. So let me get to drilling and tapping and um, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna uh, get you guys caught up to where we are on the front. Um, I'm having a little bit of complications, but I'll get to that in a second. So these right here are drilled and tapped. I drilled them with a 5 16 and then I tapped them with a uh, 3 8 inch. So those are in there solid like that. Um, so, okay, so there's a couple of things, right? So there's only one spot to connect this bar uh, eye bolt right here 
through the jack pad. Um, and the, this front one right here, I'm gonna have to, I think, take it and have it welded in this position. And that, or I may just take uh, and cut this excess part of this uh, bolt off, and then that piece of that bolt could probably just stick right down in here, and I probably wouldn't have to worry about it, like, touching anything. Um, all right, so another thing, and because there's nowhere underneath here to connect this part of the JT strong arm, so I had to go and buy um, 10 foot strip of two inch channel and uh, I had to take my grinder and I had to cut this little section out right here so that whenever I put it up in here it'll sit um, flush and it won't touch this uh, gas line right here and so what I've done is there's a couple of bolts right here for this uh, jack I took undid those bolts I measured them and I drilled the holes out on that two inch square um, beam and I'm gonna be mounting it right up in here. It's, let me get it back up in there and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. It will sit right up on that channel like this and it will clear the gas line and just sit up on the other side the exact same way and then I can mount the JT strong arms up here on this solid piece of channel that way I can go ahead and install those otherwise uh, I believe that uh, the company recommends that you don't actually install the crosses if you have this kind of a setup all right um, let me get the, that bolted in and then I need to get uh, this strong arm up there and measured so that I can put the bracket on this side for this side of the JT strong arm and I will be right back okay so now I've got this one attached and uh, the bar is installed and it's bolted down by this bolt here on this side and there's one just like it on the other side um, so now I'm at a point where I need to be measuring um, where to put the other block right here um, let me grab that and I'll be right back drill the holes for this bracket Oh, and I need to tighten up this eye bolt right here too. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tap and I'm gonna stick it in my drill and use that to tap the hole so that I can screw this up in there. Turn the drill on low.
for those of you who made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you've got the JT Strong Arms, comment below and tell me how well they've worked for you. Later on, we'll be doing a review video that'll go into more depth on how well it works, but I can already tell you that there's a giant difference in these, um, keeping the trailer more stable. But uh, if we don't see you on the road, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.